What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Got to talk to y'all real quick about why spending, man. Um, y'all know the times we're living in. Prices are high. Everything is going up. Um, gas is astronomically high through the roof. Um, just the cost of living in general, pretty much all the way across the board, is going up. Food definitely going up. Um, so what we got to do is learn how to uh, downsize and be a little more wiser with our finances with our bread um when you're doing all right when you're doing all right financially sometimes you can get a little bit overboard you can kind of get a little frivolous with your spending and you know a little comfortable and i would say there's nothing wrong with that as long as you have understood how to budget your bread and know not to put yourself in a hole. It's cool to treat yourself here and there. It's cool to splurge on a little something here and there. Maybe spend a little extra on this, a little extra on that. But when you recognize the, the climate and the atmosphere of um, the, the economic climate, I should say, you got to move with that climate. You got to move with that climate and kind of know when it's time to scale back and not be so out of control with your spending so you will be um, prepared for a time like this and worse that's yet to come um, you'll be able to absorb the blow a little bit better that's why um, the conversation about storing food in your house and, and, and preparing for that uh, famine that's coming is very important and I get to that I'll touch on that a little bit in a second but you know you have to have a a um a monthly budget plan laid out to kind of understand what you bring in and what you spend and, and what your expenses and your bills are and then what you got left over you got to know how to pay yourself and all this different type of stuff and it's adjustable like I say, the climate change, like weather, the climate of economics change so much to where your plan has to be adjustable according to that as well. And we see so many people that still try to live a certain lifestyle um, even when they're not able to do that. And sooner or later, they start to sink. And because the mathematics are not going to lie. When you reach a point where uh, more money is going out than that's coming in, it don't lie, it don't link up. It's like the Titanic, you know. You got this ship that's on the water, and the ship, it's a big ship in comparison to anything that's on land. But once it's in the water, all this ocean surrounds it. So it becomes very tiny. And once that water started to come into that hole, when it hit that iceberg, the water overpowered the ship's ability to sustain, to endure it. So that's what we do with our finances a lot of times. We let our expenses start to overpower our ability to endure it, and it floods us, and we sink. So you got to be wise in the way that you handle your bread. Like I said, especially in these times, there are things you got to cut back on. There are things you got to totally eliminate. And you got to know how to save a little bit. And you, you can't be as wild as you, you may normally be. And some people say, well, man, well, what about the rich? What about if, man, I'm, I'm doing good. I got, I'm sitting on a nice piece of bread to where I see the prices and gas. I see all that changing. But... It really don't affect the rich. It really don't affect rich people like that. Well, I mean, my, my advice, even the people who got a lot of money, is to still move that same way, to be wise with it. Because a lot of times, rich people, they play for higher stakes. So the things that we spend money on, and the little extras that we do, they're within the, the, the pocket that we're able to do it. But their extras... Your extra might be a hundred dollar extra. The extra may be a five thousand dollar extra. And in essence, those extras add up 
more than the little small ones that we do on our little level. So they have to be smart and wise too and cautious too because the um, this economy is crumbling. The dollar is declining, is in free fall. So at some point, the money is not going to be worth nothing anyway. It's already getting to that point. So resources will start to become more valuable than actual cash money. And the things that you have as, as um, uh, valuable resources, life-saving resources, those are going to be the things that mean more than how much money you got. So everybody got to be wise in this day and time. Everybody got to be um, smart in the way that they move financially. And we have always been notorious for living uh, beyond our means anyway. So we got to really tighten up on that because we was doing it even when the economy wasn't as messed up as it is now. You know, ups and downs and ups and downs. Some of us are just bad with money. Some of us get $300 and immediately spend $250, $280 on it on something that you didn't even need or something that's not going to benefit you in the long run. We just make that mistake because uh, ju we're, we're just being foolish. And a lot of us have never been taught how to properly budget money. That's not something that they taught in the public schools. So it ain't too late, but we have to start to mash the gas a little bit to be a little wiser and to direct those finances in the right types of directions that would be, again, a benefit to us. Um, food, man, food is through the roof. You know, food is through the roof, man. The shelves are empty in a lot of stores, you know, we and we're not recognizing the times. So we still on social media flashing jewelry and still bragging about this outfit I just spent all this money on and are we still in that mind frame when this whole thing is collapsing around us and then what happens is anytime you take a loss anytime you start to feel when you start to feel that financial impact then what happens is you reach a point where you start to immediately we've all done this you immediately think about how much money that you have just blown within the course of a year it's like, man, I have basically tricked off X amount of dollars in a year. If I had that right now, I'd be in a better space. So don't let that hindsight regret be something that pops you in the head later on. Start planning now for you and your family, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno, man. Y'all check me out. Um, I will be hitting y'all with another one real soon. Got some things coming up. I ain't forgot about the album. The album is in the works. So see y'all soon, man. All right. Peace.